Hello everyone, welcome back to Arpita's Tech Corner. In this video, we are going to learn about some common aggregation functions as well as we will learn about how we can use group by and order by clause in our SQL statement. So the check the description section of this video to get the GitHub details. First, you need to log in to our PostgreSQL, then go to the database which you have created in the previous video and select the schema. Here it is our public schema, then go to the table section. Now we are in our PostgreSQL. First, open this query tool. Okay, now we have all the tables like customer, geography, order date, everything. So first, first we are going to start with some simple aggregation function and as well as I'm going to use this group by clause. So first select distinct and we are going to select this customer table. Customer And first, we'll select this customer name. Customer name. Okay. So from the customer table, I'm selecting distinct customer name. Now, before selecting any other column, let me select the tables first. Okay. So first is our customer table. Then here I am using the simple where clause. Why we are using the where clause? Normally we are using the where clause whenever we are using our inner join. So instead of this inner join word, I am going to use this where clause. So I have selected this two table where my customer dot customer id column equal to our sales table dot customer id column okay now if you see in the select section i have selected only distinct customer name so what else? I need to select something from the sales table because the sales table is holding our all transactional data. Okay. So let me select something count within backend. Here count is our uh, aggregation function and I am selecting from the sales table dot the order ID. Here already I am using this distinct function. Okay, distinct will uh, provide me some distinct name. That means for the corresponding this customer name, I will get the number of order ID. Means number of order for each customer. Now, here I need to use this group by. So whenever we are going to use some aggregation function here count is our aggregation function we need to use this group by clause okay and after the group by what exactly you need to use group by this customer name let's run this query okay here you can see for each so here you can see for each customer we have this distinct order count Okay, now let me show you um, something else. So I have this count. Let's see how another aggregation function I can use. After count, normally most of the cases we are using some function. Okay, so I have this distinct function and I'm using some function. Obviously, I'm not going to use some of this order ID. I'm not going to use that. 
what exactly I need to use for some function? I can use some sales value. That means our sales amount. So here I can select this sales value. And a group by clause are um, and this group by clause is same. So run this query. Okay. So I have this cust for this customer name what exactly the total sales amount for this customer we are we have this value okay now we can see uh, we have this uh, sales value but if we need to find out what is the average profit we have for this corresponding customer how will you do that just copy this one and instead of this sum function, I'm going to use this average value. And here, instead of sales, we are going to use profit. So I have this profit value. Let's run this query. Okay, oh my god, it's a big, big value. But we need to round this value. Obviously, we are not going to display the complete total value. How will you do that? In this average area just use one round function and comma 2 let's see and we have this value for this customer I have this profit average profit which is minus 39.55 also for this customer I have 71.43 okay so what we uh, what we have learned count sum average and we have two another dist, uh, function one is distinct another is round what else we can use there okay we can use something maximum or minimum let me paste this query and here instead of average I'm using max function and let me select the cells field let's run this okay for this customer this is the maximum sales value similar way I can select this minimum value also instead of average let me select mean function and here I can select this sales value and this is the minimum value for this corresponding customer now throughout this we have learned uh, all the aggregation some common aggregation functions as well as group by clause but where is order by why do we need the order by here you can observe we have the data like 2.30 and it's a very haphazard way so we want to display the data in an order way okay how will you do that just use this order by clause and select this field you can display the data alphabetical way okay also you can it is starting with this A, you can use this so it will in a opposite way. Now let me try this one if I am going to use this minimum function and let me run this one yes it is coming in a descending way if i remove this word then it is coming in a ascending way so in this video what you have learned you have learned some of the common aggregation function group by clause and order by clause so what are the common uh, aggregation function we have learned count sum average max mean okay so please do some practice so that 
you can explore more about this aggregation functions group by clause and order by clause if you like this video please share with your friend and subscribe to my channel thank you thanks for watching